I am Mr. Space of Win and welcome back to part 48 of the Medrocks playthrough. In this part we are finally returning to the future. It took us bloody long enough because you know I was enjoying not having any electricity or computers. Great hero, please don't go! I'm sorry, my other bitches are waiting for me. Yeah, I promise I'll come back. Oh, yeah, certainly, because you know I can come overcome the boundaries of time. Or can I? Well, she's just giving us a silver locket, which uh, until the end of the game won't mean anything to us, but I'll bring it up when the time comes. And just as she uh, promised, she's giving us a parting gift of a complete set of utopian meta parts. Lovely. A god obstruct, disruptor, that sounds powerful. And dreamer, nice. Let us begin the ritual. Wait a minute, ritual? I've been tricked. They're going to sacrifice me to their primitive gods. No! And apparently he wants, the kid wants us to be sent after the Rubber Robo Gang. Sure, whatever. Let the great hero return to his world! What the hell? What are you doing here? I was able to take it. You haven't taken it yet. It's still stuck in its pedestal. And I'll be a world famous playboy! The girls will flock all around the world will flock to my side. Yeah, because girls flock to psychotic old men. Oh, you did not just use me. You did not just use me. I'll finish him off at the most climatic point of the story. Hey, you're breaking the fourth wall. You can't do that. Wow, it's trippy. Oh, now I'm back at the bloody Rubber Robo Gang's base with no idea what time period this is. Yeah, for all I know, this could be like 50 years before I was born. That's going to be useful. Hey, maybe I can kill off uh, Dr. Armand, you know, to stop all this from happening. Actually, no, let's not even go into that. That could just completely fuck everything over. Ha ha ha! The Rubber Robo Gang have just been caught by Select Corp. Oh, they never catch a break. All's well that ends well, I guess. Ho ho ho! Yeah, maybe for you, but I've got to play 20 more parts of this shit. Yeah, it's about 20 parts, just less or something. Of this playthrough left, I'm sure you're all gonna be dying to watch it. Oh great, so Koji appears right after all the action has been taken care of. What are you doing here, bitch? No, that's my line, you bastard. I came here to avoid being seen by those select corp. Oh dude, I've been on the biggest trip ever. No, I didn't fall into the sewer. I went into the ocean, man, that's underneath the city for some reason. Yeah, I opened this door and all this water came in, man. Dude, what drugs have you been taking? Because I want some of that shit. Opening a door... Dro Actually, that's a good point. How did he open that door? Meta pancake. Ha ha ha! That's a great pun. That doesn't mean it makes sense. I saw a fish swimming outside. Yeah, dude, just, just give me my piece of that shit. I want some of them drugs. It's the truth, man. I'm not lying. Uh, the main character's stupidity knows no limits. Arika's waiting outside. Make up. I don't have anything to say to that bitch. We weren't fine, for once. Yeah, better not destroy that rock, then. Okay, let's go outside. I like how he's telling us to change into his normal clothes, but because I was in the car, I was already in those clothes. Get out of my way, meow! Oh, what's this stray cat doing here? Sorry, I like Corpa, that's my cat. I'll deal with it. Meh, it's so unfair! Yes, I've just had another wild adventure. Arika, do you not know RPGs? The main character's always in the, you know, main event of the story. Can't you think about my feelings for a woman? Oh yeah, like how you think about my feelings all the time when you put me into all this shit. What? What's, what's wrong? Well, excuse me if I've been a, in a sewer for all this time. Don't come near me, that's fine by me. If anything, I'll uh, not change my clothes at all. Back to the drawing board, I thought you were a bloody photographist, not a bloody artist. Oh well, well, seeing as there's nothing left to do, I guess we should just go home and change our clothes. Ah, I can finally use it again. Woo! Oh, I love this thing. Also, I just like the fact that they let miners drive about on this thing. Uh, home sweet home. Hello, mother. How have you been? Thanks for noting that I've been gone for so long. Actually, well, yeah, wait, there's, there's time, yeah, so I guess it couldn't be that long. A date? What are you rambling about, woman? What date? Never mind, let's go and change. I wonder how they uh, um, have a wash, because, I mean, he hasn't got um, a bathroom, has he? Let's go on the bed. But I can't get it from top of the bed. Jumping on the... B oh, no, dude, you're not. Ah, uh, 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 oh, rest. 
I hope nobody saw that. No, just all the uh, people watching my LP playthrough. Whatever. Pfft. Actually, I guess that won't be many people then, is it? Uh, I don't know. It was very fiddly to get these claws, but apparently it's on the top of the bed. Here we go. Change them to my new claws, and they look exactly the same. So, yeah, what's uh, that mum dribbling about now, dit? I know I've got a lot of women after me, but... Uh, what are you on about? I didn't plan any of this. What's this date you speak of, woman? No reason to be shy now. Which girl? Who? I'm pretty sure that's like called... Yeah, yeah, we knew that. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I heard something stupid going to my ear. Because I thought you said I was going on a date with Arika. Like hell, I'd set a date up with her. You sly devil. Yes, I am sly and a spawn of Satan. Thank you. I didn't... I, well, miss, I didn't go on your date with your crappy daughter. I'm sorry. Well, I did see her a minute ago, but that's not what I meant. Oh, Ace. Oh, let's get out of here. So somebody sent a fake date letter to Arika. I think the crazy thing is that she actually believed it. Oh, well. Let's uh, take my little uh, vehicle. Arr, damn kids, get off the road! Oh, well, there's no select corp here. What's he doing? There was a girl here who just went off with a strange old man. No! No means no! Actually, I don't know what's worse. The fact that this old man took her, or the fact that she was stupid enough to go along with him. Oh, great. So, Arika's been kidnapped now? Ugh. I guess we'll just go and check up on Karen for some random reason. Make sure my other um, love heart is okay. Actually, who am I kidding? I only care about Karen, not Arika. She can go get raped for all I care. I love uh, this, you know, very, you know, unique image to give for Karen's mum. Like, they couldn't even just use the simple, you know, woman's NPC that they've been using all this time. What? Oh, wait, so somebody set up a date with her as well? It's like, it's like uh, some strange American comedy where the two dates set up at the same time. Except none of the girls turn up and have apparently been taken away. Oh, that's just wrong on so many levels. Oh, I'm gorgeous here now. Conveniently. Someone phoned me. I got tossed aside. <laughs> yeah, like your role in this game. I don't suppose you've seen any of the girl characters in here, have you? What about Rika? Yeah, um, you could say something like that. I don't know where they are. Uh-oh. The, the screen's shaking again. That is not good. A bird? Let's just... Okay. Let's... Yeah, this thing can't go on for any longer, can it? What is that? What are you staring at? I think they're looking at my face. They've realised that they're in a game. It's a bird! It's a plane! That's random. No, it's a flying fortress finion! Excuse me? Oh, it's Independence Day! No, they're going to blow up the White House. Can you laugh long enough? This town is mine because I have a giant saucer. What is going on? Yeah, I'm listening. Oh, no, you didn't. You took Karen? Bastard. Oh, yeah, and Arika. I guess I should go save her. So he wants me to go into a giant saucer, fart him, and take my girl back? Uh, if that isn't a near end game plot, I don't know what is. What do you think it looked like? It looked like a giant saucer. Isn't it obvious? Hey, just fall something. Wasn't that thing under the ground? Oh, uh, forget it. Look, Koji, just leave everything to me. I'll bring back both Karen and Arika, save the day again, and get Dr. Armin in prison. I promise, Koji. I promise. I love how they're getting really tense about this. I'll die trying. Yeah! I won't forget it. Let's do this! Uh, I guess uh, we should go and ask... Actually, how the hell am I gonna even going to get up there? I can't fly. Oh, that was random. Ah, shit. Random battle. Oh, they just can't get away from them. Yeah, finally, that uh, mortar men what's going to be useful. So yeah, this is a new random battle which we are going to see a lot of. So get used to this app. Uh, but uh, this is only the first one. I mean, it's not particularly hard. This new metabot I think is called Paradiver. Its special ability is to um, drain the meta force from your metabots. But I mean, you know, with anti-air on, you shouldn't have any problem taking these down. 
Just remember that though, that Mortar Metabot is f is completely anti-air. So, you know, against these Metabots, it would be perfect. And, he's like, and that's Phoenix, which I haven't seen actually in a while. Oh my god, my fire! Appeared in the first episode of Metabots, of course. With the electric band people. That Black Ram as well. I haven't seen Black Ram yet, have we? He'll be appearing later though, don't you worry. Wow. Now that is getting owned. One. One off the one piece that we want to be taken out quickly. Figures. Oh yeah, uh This part's gonna end rather abruptly, so um I'm gonna make my, you know, ending quote sooner than you think. There we go, family. You know, the recording of this was a bit too long for my taste, so join me in part forty nine where we go to Dr. Aki's lab and attain some way of uh, flying. Till next time.